Okay guys, I'm going to go over with you the task organization of a cell and what a unit cell is. The cell is the most basic fighting unit. It consists of four people. It has four positions. The four positions are the cell leader, the heavy rifle, the medium rifle, and the light rifle. Task organization is needed for the cell because some teams are very loosely organized and problems arise due to gaps in who owns what roles, who owns what duties, and sometimes these roles and duties are put off onto just one or two players in the group. It cuts down on headache to have task organization on your paintball team and it makes things very clear about a sense of order and due process. The first position of the cell is the cell leader. The cell leader is responsible for everything that does and does not happen on the field of play or off the field of play. If something needs to happen it is the cell leader's responsibility to make sure it happens. He is the ultimate stopping point for what needs to happen. He leads by example. He maintains control and he does things at the right place and the right time. He is the most experienced person in the cell. And he is responsible for navigation and knowing what formations to do on what terrain he is also responsible for maintaining security and maintaining a 360 degree fight. Fights on the scenario paintball field are a lot different than those in rec ball play. Rec ball play usually consists of knowing where the tape line is. Rec ball play usually has maybe a 180 degree playing view. Whereas scenario games have a 360 degree uh, playing view. The thing for everybody to know about leadership is they must be willing to lead when the cell leader is knocked off the field due to an elimination. So every must, everyone must uh, be ready to fill that role as a leader when the person in front of them is knocked out. It's a good thing for players to know each other's roles just in case someone is eliminated. The next position is the cell heavy rifle. The cell heavy rifle is the primary means for support and security. He is responsible for keeping heads down he is to provide overwhelming suppressive fire. He's also probably the second most experienced person on the team. He's in good physical condition because he needs to be carrying heavy loads. Heavy rifles are used to producing what Wes calls the Mad Minute. The Mad Minute is when players unload a lot of paint at a target to ensure that that target is eliminated. Heavy rifles will probably carry a gun that has the option of a three round burst or full auto or has an electric trigger or an electric hopper. They could be a speedball player and they know how to keep uh, people's heads down. Their shots don't always have to be accurate. They just have to have a heavy volume of paint going downfield to keep people's heads down so that other players may move up. Next is the cell medium rifle. This is your tank killer. He's your grenadier. He keeps a good pace count and he's probably your only weapon of defense against an armored attack. He is uh, mainly there for fighting tanks, 
blowing up bunkers, uh, any type of demolition. So uh, he's there to make sure that your team has that position covered. Lastly is the Cell Light Rifle. He is your team's gopher. He should have good agility, good speed, and his duties also include helping out the cell leader and maintain, helping the cell leader maintain security. He could also be the team's RTO. And uh, like I said, his job is assisting the leader. If the leader needs him to go run an errand for him or go grab another team to help them, assist them in uh, what it is that they're going to do, he'll send out the light rifle. Okay guys, next up will be cell bounding and squad formation. And